Nature will castigate those who don't masticate. Those were the words of Horace Fletcher, a 19th century lecturer and writer on food and nutrition, despite having no scientific background. His central theory was that food should be chewed until it has the consistency of pulp before being swallowed. Fletcherizing, he claimed, would maximize digestion, decrease the amount of food consumed, and maximize strength. Scientists labeled him a food faddist, or even worse, a quack. But as it turns out, the great masticator was not totally wrong. A number of studies have now shown that meal duration is linked to the risk of obesity. For example, in a study published in the journal Nutrients, researchers surveyed 755 Spanish adolescents and found that longer meal duration was associated with a lower body mass index. Basically, they found that people who spend a longer time eating are less likely to put on weight. And one way to increase the time is by taking smaller and more bites and uh, chewing each bite more thoroughly. This was shown by Japanese researchers who enlisted 33 volunteers to eat a slice of pizza and counted the number of bites taken, the time that each bite was chewed, and the time taken to complete the meal. The results demonstrated that the more chews, the longer it took to eat the slice of pizza. The texture of food can also influence the amount of time taken to eat a meal. Scientists in Singapore had 50 healthy adults consume one of four meals that were classified as hard, minimally processed, soft, minimally processed, hard, ultra-processed, and soft, ultra-processed. These variations were selected because current advice to eat mostly minimally processed foods is widely accepted, but whether the texture of the food could be a further nuance in decision-making was not known. Just to give an example, the main protein in the hard, minimally processed meal was baked chicken, while in the soft, ultra-processed, it was fish sticks. In the carbohydrate category, it was hard, boiled, multigrain rice versus soft, instant mashed potatoes. In the fruit category, a hard, fresh apple versus a soft, canned mango. The subjects were told to eat as much of the assigned meal as they desired. Both of the hard texture meals took longer to consume than the soft texture meals, as one might expect. However, as far as calorie consumption goes, the clear winner was the hard, minimally processed meal at 483 calories. Compare that with the 790 calories that were consumed by the people who ate the soft, ultra-processed meal. As a result, we can now add that other nuance to the recommendation of eating minimally processed foods. If you are concerned about weight gain, choose ones with harder texture. You will eat more slowly and consume fewer calories. Shades of Fletcherizing. That for today is our Cup of Joe.